is going on? Oh, I'm in color. Oh, what the heck? I'm going to run with it. I'm never in color. That's okay. Man, I know you don't want me to stop stop the, 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 the music, man. Vision of Disorder. It's, it's 2016. It is 2016. And I thought I'd make a video uh, just giving props to Vision of Disorder. I mean, everybody knew him back then. And does everybody know it now? Probably not. I just, man, I just thought I'd give props. I didn't, I have made a few videos in the past talking about hardcore music and, and, and people, the thing with hardcore is everybody that listens to hardcore, they already know about all these bands. But I just thought I would make this a feel good vibes, props to these guys. I mean, Vision of Disorder, man, this is, how many years is this? This is 2016. I've been listening to Vision Disorder for over 20 years. 20 years? For 20 years? And, uh, you know, I don't listen to it that often, you know, because I don't want to ruin it. I don't sit and listen to hardcore every day. I, I am a big fan of heavy music. I have been for a long time. Um, but, man, when I, throw the, when I throw Vision of Disorder in, they still just absolutely slam. I mean, they will just blow, they will just blow, completely blow your mind. And it's just like, you know, it's one of those bands that, you know, I'm not going to call it the greatest hardcore band of all time. You know, because they, they, they just kind of, they have their own sound and they're not specifically a hardcore band. Or they're a hardcore band for sure, but there's just so much more to them. And, you know, and if you were to compare a vision of disorder, you know, say someone like Madball, who I love, Madball's great. But it's a completely different sound, you know, it's, it's like apples and oranges. But guys, Vision of Disorder, I just thought I'd make a video just giving these guys props. I mean, back in the day, you know, when they were on, when they were on and doing their thing, like in, in, in these albums here, I just happened to grab this and, and, and just, I mean, it almost leaves me speechless. They, they are unbelievable. Why these guys were so good? Back then, when they were so young, I have absolutely no idea. But when they were doing, when they were young and they were doing what they did best, making heavy music, I mean, this, this, this is untouchable. Go out there and start a band and see if you could, you could even compare. I mean, you, you, you won't even be one-tenth as good. I mean, these albums are just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Vision of Disorder. I mean, and they ended up breaking up, and I think at one point, I didn't want to go out to a whole history because I don't know all the history of the band, or I'll leave some out, or I'll say something that's wrong. Um, you know, I'm just one of those people that I listen to heavy music, and I listen to music that I like. If somebody leaves a band, if a band's still good, I listen to it. You know, I don't get too caught up in those. But at some point, Vision of Disorder, when they were still together, and um, how can I say this? They changed. They changed their their style of music, and I, even to the point where I was like, "Oh my God, really?" And it was, uh, you know, and you know, you, I I don't want to get into reasons why. I'm sure they would have reasons why they did that, but you know, it just it's one of it's just a vision of disorder is just one of the underappreciated bands, you know, just. Probably, I mean, you could even, if you said Vision of Disorder was the greatest band ever in heavy music, you know, and let's get, I don't even like the whole genres, this is hardcore and this is, this is that, and I just, I listen to heavy music and hardcore is probably my favorite genre of music, but it's a very difficult thing to pull off, especially when you get bands like, man, when you get bands like Vision of Disorder that hit it's just like wow it's unbelievable i mean and it's just like man if you listen to pantera if you listen to like normal mainstream bands that 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 are heavy that you like you will love vision of disorder and that's kind of want to make this video i'm like maybe maybe there's a kid out there finding you know found a video or something i mean vision of disorder man i just had to get in their props it's 20 years later this music hits so hard. I mean, you will, people will be listening to this 500 years from now. I mean, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And to think that, that they maybe changed the style of their music 
Now, this is where I, I don't want to put words in their mouth. You know, maybe they changed the style of music because they weren't, you know, as popular, weren't getting famous and seen other bands. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'm just speculating that maybe that's why. But it's kind of a real shame. Like, had they just continued to make, you know, heavy music like this? I mean, I don't know. But all I'm telling you is when they were, when they were on, when Vision of Disorder was Vision of Disorder... I mean, nobody could, nobody could touch them. I mean, they're just, they're like 50 years ahead of their time. I mean, it's like hardcore from 2015 or something. I mean, it's from like the 90s and it's got that vibe, but it's just unbelievable. It's like unreal. You listen to it and you're like, wow, how are these, how are these kids making this music? I mean, the vocals, the guitars, the, the breakdowns, and it's so crisp and so clear and it's, it's absolutely perfect music. I mean, you could, I mean, wow, it's just, it's unbelievable. Vision of Disorder, I just want to make a video to give these guys some props. I know nobody's going to watch this, but guys, feel free to comment. Vision of Disorder, unbelievable. I'll see you guys later.